Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to be reviewing this right here. Now this Flash Young No, I got it for my T3i. Uh, at first it worked really, really well. I mean, I fell in love with this thing. It made my pictures look really well. Uh, for studio, the light was good enough for this, this only. Later on I had to get more lights and you will end up getting strobes and other stuff like that. But for something portable you will need one of these. Um, now this does turn all these ways okay only up to where I'm turning it it doesn't turn more than what you see right now okay so only it turns up to here there and here it turns pretty much the whole way okay um, it also turns this way that way and that's it okay now I'm gonna tell you about the bad thing about this um, right away so um, I've had it for two years now the first year I used it quite extensively almost every day um, and the second year maybe once a week even less than that so it hasn't been used that much okay and I've almost always used it at max potential okay so one over one I used it at its maximum so I, I know that requires in rains ra it drains out your batteries so it does come doesn't come with batteries um, but you will need to get some rechargeable. I would recommend rechargeable batteries for sure. Um, double A batteries will work fine here, and uh, you do need four of them. Okay. Um, now this does drain your battery, so you will have to have a lot of batteries near you and always charging up, so you can change them up. Or else you you will see if you take a picture, it's gonna take some time reloading. Okay, so you can't just take one picture after the other. Um, unless your batteries are fully charged, then it takes maybe I'll take one picture and they have to wait about two seconds or three till this recharges and then you can take the next one. Okay, so for sequential shots, this is no good. Um, but for studio shots, you just need to take one and then uh, maybe another one, three second intervals, then you're okay. Um, but if you need to take shots really fast, this is not good for you. If you need shots. Now if you want something cheap and affordable for your Canon C3i and that will last you at least a year, this is the way to go. Uh, so far, like I said, it's going two years, but on the second year, now it we're seeing defects uh, from getting it. Right now, it needs batteries that are always fully charged and the kind that drains them out really fast, but it's just not functioning well. Um, it'll take a couple shots and then die. So. And then we have to put in fresh batteries, and then maybe we'll take a couple other shots. By couple, I mean six or ten shots, and that's about it. And then we have to put another pair. So that's something wrong that's going wrong with this flash right now. But it's been two years, and um, it hasn't been heavily used. Used, but it's been used. Um, apart from that, guys, I, I do recommend it if you want to use it for two years and you want to upgrade. Um, it's a good flash, especially for you guys that are starting up. It's good. I mean. It worked out for me. Uh, later on, I got my speed light, which was a big one, and that's what I use in my studio most of all. And I do use this sometimes, but not as much just because it's not functioning that well anymore. Would I buy another one? Probably not. I'll probably buy a brand one now. Uh, just get some extended warranty on it and uh, for it to work longer. Uh, for the price that you get this, I think it's worth it anyways. It fits your first flash. For sure, get it. Um, it does come with this, which is useful when you're taking close-up shots. Okay, uh, this is something, you know, it, it's cheap anyways, uh, but it's practical, and you can always retract it. So, and it does work, you don't always have to have it on your camera, you can get other extenders for it, okay? So you can have this somewhere else, and then your camera here, and you can take the shot. So you can always do that. And uh, that, that's why it's pretty good because you do have several options that you can buy over eBay or Amazon and uh, you can make this even more wireless, okay? Um, apart from that, if you have a T3i, for example, and uh, you have that wireless feature about it, um, that will not work for this, okay? So you will need a, an adapter here to put into it and uh, that that's the way that you have to communicate with it so I'm not just talking about T3i's but other cameras that have Wi-Fi this is not gonna work for you guys um, you always have to have that adapter for it to work wireless or you will have to put it on your camera and it's gonna work right away anyways that's it from every you guys if you guys have any questions comments you can write them here below and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you